Katie Martin with you. Just how to deliver housing relief desperately needed in regions like the Limestone Coast will be debated in federal parliament today. The Greens say they won't support the Housing Australia Future Fund, arguing building 30,000 social housing and affordable homes in the first five years is insufficient. Emergency Services Minister Murray Watt has been defending it this morning. This fund will, will take time to build the number of homes that are needed, but it's a bloody good start and the Greens should get behind it. Unless you've got it, then you might not know we're in the thick of another COVID wave in SA and authorities say we're on track for it to peak right in the middle of Mad March. SA Health is forecasting a peak of around 1,100 cases a day, slightly lower than December's numbers with waning immunity from previous infections thought to be driving it. Hospital cases will hit almost 100 cases a day by the end of March or early April. Parents of autistic children say one of the biggest challenges they face living in the region is access to someone qualified to make the diagnosis in the first place. That was the feedback left by attendees to a state government forum held locally recently as part of South Australia's first ever autism strategy. The strategy is aiming to make the state more inclusive for autistic people and make the wider community more educated. Over the border and pressure is mounting on the Victorian government to go harder on a vaping crackdown with Canberra. Nine in ten people support government action to stop an escalating crisis, according to the Cancer Council. The opposition says a new generation can't be allowed to get addicted. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. Max Taste Challenge. Results from round 10 of the Barber Shield now and Panola's come through with the victory over West Gambia. Mill Lell's taken out south and east were too good for North Sportsmen's. And the Mount Gambia Pioneers men are taking further shape in the off-season with the signing of US import Chris Seeley. The power forward joins the squad after a season in Kosovo, averaging 16 points in 10 games. Beyond Blue is here to help you achieve your best possible mental health. For more information, advice and support, visit beyondblue.org.au today. Buying or selling rural or residential properties? Miller, Juan and John. This is SAFM Weather. A mostly sunny afternoon across the limestone coast, 12 degrees overnight. Heating up tomorrow to 33 degrees. Want more local news? Get free breaking news about our community. Download the Listener app, search for your town and add to your favourites now.